Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you're here and I am so excited to bring you this video. You guys highly requested me to share this with you after you saw my Insta story last week. If you're not already following me on Instagram, my handle is in the description box. It's just Brie Rook, I finally got that name back. That's another story. If you wanna know step by step, this is a video to watch. I will suggest that if you have natural curly hair like myself, and if you're starting from scratch, I will definitely recommend if you haven't already to watch the TYMO ring straightener review that I did. I will link that up here and down here um, because this is what I did to start my hair and to get it like this. So if you're trying to follow step by step, watch that video first, jump back here, then you got it. But if you've already seen that or you don't have naturally curly hair, let's get started. Bye. 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 Okie dokie, so starting off, like I mentioned before, I went through my hair with the TYMO ring straightener, and this is what it came out to. It's not super sleek, which is exactly how I want it, especially for this look, because I've done something similar when I've straightened my hair and I've gotten super sleek, and when I do that, all it does is just give me really pretty wavy curls, not the volume. Once I've kind of brushed that out and separated it into two sections, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the hair forward, just like that. I almost did not want to film this because it is so simple, but this is what I'm using. A $20 Con Air curling wand. I bought this like eight or nine years ago. This is my OG. Look, it's still holding up. Like, it is in tip-top shape, I will say. I have some other curling irons that I really like too, but to get the curl that I'm about to do, they can't, the other ones can't touch this. We're gonna go ahead and just take a small piece of front. I'll show you guys how I do this. Make sure that the hair, when you're doing the curl, is flat around the wand. So sometimes people will just kind of um, do the hair like this, I'll do an example, and really quick and it's not flat, the curls end up to be a different pattern. So if you want this voluminous big curl, you've gotta do it like this. You've gotta make sure it's flat. And another trick that I do is I spin the wand and like kind of tighten it and then pull out like that. Once you get the hang of it, it's super simple. And then as you can see, I'm kind of just squeezing the curl like this, and then I let it go. This helps just keep it tight. This will all drop tremendously, but I like to make them as tight as possible so that they last. So there I go. I'm turning it as I go, and then I drop the curl into my hand and squeeze it while letting it cool. You don't need a clip for this. You can kind of make different sections. Then I don't hold it very long, as you can see. It's a very quick thing. And then you just go on. So I'm gonna do it a couple times so you can see. All the way around. If you're new to this, I would definitely recommend using a glove because you might hurt yourself. So. Do that, and this is, I just gotten so used to dealing with hot hair. Do this again, again, cut, twist, pull, hold, down. I told you, it's very simple, it's just repetitive. I give all the credit to the wand because I don't feel like this is much of a technique if you've done wand curls before. Like, it's like, yeah, Brie, that's how you curl your hair. Good job. <laughs> but y'all want to know how I do it, so here it is. This probably will take me about 15 minutes to do. Uh, and what's nice about it is if you have the texture that I have with my hair, 
it will most likely last you as long as you're not in the humidity a lot. So I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention that you can control obviously the heat on this thing. I use the highest heat just because it has really good power for being such a cheap tool. So good job Conair. And I can't believe it's still alive. I've had some other curling irons that have not lasted me this long. So I'm surprised. I mean, it should, right? Definitely worth it. I will link this below for you guys to check out. I'm pretty sure, like I said, they have a new name. I think it's called like the Infinity Curl or something. And they've got some new features on it, which is kind of cool. Another thing that I really like about it that has, that has saved me so much is that it turns off automatically when you leave it on too long. So it can be a little annoying when you're like doing your hair and it takes you a long time and then it'll shut off, but there's so many times where I've just been in a rush and I forget to turn off the curler and this guy does it for me. So I'm gonna take all this on the side and do this. Yeah. All right, now starting back up at the front. Show you guys again since it's a little bit more up close. It's that flat way like that. Turn a little bit, be very careful. Also, I've done this, if ever I'm like going somewhere and I want to have the curls set a little better, I will do this pin curl style. So I'll show you too. This is how I do my pin curls. It kind of makes it easy to do pin curls when you do it this way. Cause watch, I have the, the curling iron like that and I pull the, the curl out. When I want to pull the wand out and I have the curl perfectly in my hand, I usually will just put my finger through the curl like that, grab it like this and roll it up, put a bobby pin in it and then there's my pin curls. Arms are tired. So now that everything is pretty much curled, I'm gonna go ahead and toss it around so you guys can see the results. I'm just gonna kind of move the hair around. See that? Very pretty. So I'm gonna put some hairspray in it. This is the John Frieda Frizz Ease. This helps with the humidity so that it's not too crazy. I'm just lock some of the curls, it smells really good. Got like the fair faucet thing going on right here. Hey, I did not find that. Move it around. I like it to be messy. The messier, the better, I feel like when it comes to this hairstyle. Cause it just looks so voluminous. You like it? I like it, I'm happy with it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please give me a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. So that is it. Thank you guys so much. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.